Hello everybody, it is Joel from PC Games N and I am here with Phil. Hello there. And today we are going to be looking at and talking about Torment Tides of Numenera. Yeah, so I've been to play this, uh, it's our first hands-on with it, and I was quite excited because I'm a Planescape Torment fan. This is a sequel, there's about 18 years between them. Mm, it's been um, a while, hasn't it? So well, you didn't you replay Planescape like last year or Yeah, something? I played it in 2014. So the big questions I have were, does it feel like Torment? What are the new systems? You're seeing one of the new systems there, that's effort. Um, so basically you're spending effort points purple blobs purple blobs to yeah. do things uh and so you how does one acquire effort points uh they're replenished so uh you you'll sleep and right. your effort points will be replenished so uh, you can spread them across your party as well uh now and depending on it your looks like mm -hmm. futuristic uh tyranny it's extremely futuristic <laughs> it's set i think a billion years in the oh future oh my gosh on earth um, that's ridiculous. So, yeah, that's why... It, well, the, the, the world doesn't look like a sort of fleshy moor in a, a billion years, but where we are at the moment is within the Bloom, which is a city-sized fleshy thing. And it's so big that its innards are enough to house um, an entire city of people. If that is what we're going to be living in in a billion years, I, for one, don't really want to be around. It's bleak, isn't it? And, and that's actually a bit of a Planescape uh, core pillar, I'd say. Uh, it's So it's based on a tabletop game, which I don't know much about. Um, but the sort of central idea, the Planescape thing, is that there are infinite planes of existence, all of them slightly different. Some people have figured out how to travel between them. Uh, and it's sort of just led to everything being really morbid. Because there's just inherently very little meaning in life. So let I mean let's let's bring it back to the basics. What's going on? Uh, well, it's an isometric RPG, which is very an similar IPG. to an isometric. <laughs> um, and your the, the difference is with something like pillars. Are you this lady with the half shaved head? Yeah, where where the the last cast off, which means where the sort of last vessel of this immortal being who hops from vessel to vessel. Uh, but what the immortal being doesn't know is that after they hop out and into someone else, um, that vessel is left with this new consciousness and loads of questions and like a completely blank memory. Like in Planescape? Like in Planescape. Well, it's sort of the opposite in Planescape Torment because you were an immortal being that found themselves resurrected every time they died. But unbeknownst to you, your resurrection cost someone else in the world yeah. dying. Yeah, all links, I see. Um, oh, there's a fight. There's a fight brewing here. Uh, so what happened was we tried to spend some effort points. We didn't have enough. So there was only a 10% chance of success. And what's happened then is that some Murdens So you used your effort points in dialogue to try and convince the Murdens not to have a fight with you? Yeah, exactly. I they suppose look like it works. They big crows. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really sort of... They look of like, I'll tell you what they look like. They look like three crows wearing a long jacket. Yeah. I think that's as much as anyone knows about the Murdens about right? at this point. Yeah, it's a really uh, it's it is com what would yes. what the uh, developers would call whole cloth um, in that it doesn't mm. have any overlap. Overlap. Over What's going to on me today? today? Isn't it? There's no overlap with uh, traditional um, like Euro fantasy stuff. It's not Tolkien. Um, so every every person that you meet is interesting and singular and just weird. Like it's, that's the thing everyone will tell you about Planescape Torment and this game. Mm. It's just weird. So it looks combat looks to be happening mainly with radial menu wheels, uh, and it's also turn based. Oh, is um, it? Yeah, See, I hadn't which, picked up on that, but I guess everyone is staying quite still. Yeah, so, so turn based, but not on a sort of grid battlefield thing like turn based no. combat often is. So they look to have taken a, a leaf out of the Divinity playbook here. Um, combat in Planescape Torment was handled like it was in Baldur's Gate. Um, mm. That might have just been an engine limitation. Um, the uh, creative lead on this, Colin McComb, was also uh, sort of one of the main designers on Planescape Torment. So he's in a position to sort of play around. And he's also Mr. Planescape. Like, you know, he's architect of the tabletop game as well. Um, so he obviously finds that uh, turn base just works better within this universe. Mm. Um, I went two hours without doing any combat. Mainly, uh, you know, maybe I was just really good at putting the effort in. 
but uh, I've always said that about you, Phil. I, st- <laughs> I started to wonder whether there even was combat, uh, but it there turns is. out there is, and it's radically different to that of uh, the first game. It's weird because I've seen this is a game that's sort of been in sort of like not preview stage but we've been looking at for like years now like a couple of years i think yes and it's never looked like this all the shots i've seen of it have been like these beautiful kind of far more picturesque landscapes and now we're in a fly infested pit basically yeah fighting like dirty crows wearing robes it's not an aspirational scene. not at the moment it's oh that was good there are sort of it looks like blackheads on a nose on the floor yeah um, oh yeah, it's like open pores and stuff. It's horrible. Yeah, you you do get that sort of oppressive atmosphere that you are within an enormous <laughs> stomach of something when you're in the bloom. Um, however, most of the game is outside the bloom. Uh, what I was doing when I was in here was trying to get out, and in order to get out, you need to speak to the leader of this sort of shanty town uh, that's formed itself within the innards. In order to do that, innards. you need to travel around a bunch of moors and. The moors can, they, they might just kill you, straight up kill you, or they might sort of take something from you. Like they might take a hand or a foot, or they might what? take your soul, for example. How, what? You can lose a foot? Yeah. What happens if you lose a foot? Uh, well, I've met a few people who've lost hands and feet along the way, and they have sort of um, robotic oh my um, word. replacements. This is horrible. Or, I, I met a man who had two hands for feet, and they waved one oh, of his... Oh, this is really disgusting. I'm not down with this at no. all. No. It's, uh, <laughs> maybe it's an acquired taste. Uh, the radio menu is completely new. Um, yeah, that I do quite like the look of. This combat system looks quite cool. Yeah, well, unlike uh, Planescape Tournament, of course, this is being developed for consoles as well as PC. So the systems have to sort of work across both mediums. That's not to say it's dumbed down. So, <laughs> so, so like, there's lots of effort going in here. So, like, what is it like a binary system whereby you put in effort and something either works or doesn't work or more effort means a bit more power but it like it's scaling it's sense? it's your chance of success of completing whatever action right so it is so binary. you either get a yes or a no yeah but so you, you get a probability of yes or no yeah exactly right. so you can gotcha. spend four points and get 75 percent chance of something being completed so it's it's all based on the tabletop rules i guess it's like a dice roll right you'd have to ask people who play now the i can see a sort of flappy tentacle or two that's one of the moors okay um so these are the things that transport you to and fro within the bloom and can also and transport you outside feet. of it uh, yeah, they can take your feet. Uh, you can also. I met a couple of guys who turned out to be the same man. Oh, I don't think this is. A, um, and one one had just travelled sort of tens of years through the future, and met back up with himself after a journey through the moor. So these things can have quite that dramatic bad. effects. If I on you. if I know tra- time travel films, yeah. that's not good. Meeting yourself in another time. Well, what was quite nice was that. Uh, I got to ask him, like, isn't that a bit iffy for oh, the space time continuum? Reach out and stroke his head almost lovingly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Um, um, yeah, isn't it bad? It must be bad. He said it's basically fine, How which was it? just a nice subversion of all those time travel movies. In it goes, though. Anyway, uh, what what you picked up on there is that really this game is all about the writing, um, and what I found quite striking when I went back to play Planescape Torment before this sort of resurgence with Pillars of Eternity and Wasteland 2 and games like that um, was that it was it took quite a long time to get back into that slower pace where you are actually reading every line of dialogue and thinking about things and just well, you know, played, spending two uh, minutes at a time on it. We played Tyranny not that long ago on this very YouTube channel and uh, we, did. we did spend quite a lot of our Let's Play just reading stuff. There's a lot of reading, yeah. Uh, and so, you know, it's it's for people who like that. Like if you're if you would rather see something happen rather than have it described in front of you then you're better off with the likes of the witcher if you have fond memories of the the golden days of this genre and you like sort of reading descriptions of what characters are doing rather than seeing it um then the writing is really superb for that and it does reward spending a bit of extra time um just sitting there and clicking on things and where where is it at when's it out and it's out on February 28th, so you've not got long to wait uh, before replacing your feet with hands and jumping from more to more within a big fleshy tomb. Lovely. Well, that was Torment, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do subscribe for more, hit the little bell, and we will be back shortly with similarly disgusting videos for you. Goodbye. Goodbye.